In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of the Celts in Britain. Contrary to popular belief, these people weren't originally called Celts, but were known as Britons. One small but important remark. The pronunciation of Celts and Celtic can vary depending on regional dialects, academic settings, or the context in which you're using the words. Here are the most common ways to pronounce these terms. Celts. Historically and academically, it's often pronounced with a hard C sound. Celts. Celtic. When referring to the historical and cultural group, it's commonly pronounced with a hard C sound, Celtic. However, in some contexts, such as the Boston Celtics basketball team, it's pronounced with a soft C sound, Celtic. Term Celt actually came into use much later, around the 18th century, and is derived from the Greek word Keltoi, which means barbarians. The Celts migrated to Britain around 700 BC, likely coming from Central Europe or Southern Russia. They brought with them advanced ironworking technologies, which gave them a technological edge over the earlier inhabitants, like the Iberians and the Beka people. This led to the displacement of these older groups into regions like Wales, Scotland and Ireland. Organized in tribes, the Celts were more advanced in agriculture as well. They introduced new plowing methods that allowed for the farming of heavier soils. These tribes settled in hill forts and were engaged in trading activities, not just locally, but also with Ireland and mainland Europe. Their society was uniquely structured with the Druids, who were the priests, at the top tier. The Druids were multifaceted. They were priests, shamans, bards, diplomats, and even lawmakers. They were essentially the intellectual elite who memorized religious teachings, tribal history, and laws. Now, if you're thinking of Merlin, you're on the right track as he's probably the most famous Druid in legend. Interestingly, the Celts had a form of child-rearing that might seem strange to us. Children were often raised by foster parents, usually the brother of the birth mother. The family unit was the clan, and clans loosely affiliated themselves into tribes. Each tribe had its own customs, gods, and even its own coinage system. In terms of lifestyle, the Celts were primarily farmers, despite their reputation as fierce warriors. They were innovative in agriculture, introducing the iron plough, which transformed farming in Britain. Women in Celtic society had a relatively high status, enjoying property rights and the ability to choose their own husbands. Some, like the famous Queen Boudicca, even led revolts against the Romans. The Celts had an intriguing spiritual life heavily influenced by their Druids. Their religious practices, though not fully understood due to the secretive nature of the Druids, involved rituals held in woodland groves and near sacred waters. There are accounts of human sacrifice, although these should be taken with a grain of salt as they come from Roman sources who viewed the Celts as barbarians. Finally, the lack of unity among Celtic tribes made them vulnerable to conquest. When the Romans invaded in 43 AD, the disparate tribes couldn't mount a unified defense, leading to their eventual subjugation. Over time, the Celtic Britons became the Romano-British population we know from history. That's a wrap on our quick journey through the world of the Celts in Britain. There's so much more to explore about this fascinating culture, from their art and language to their beliefs and their practices. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more intriguing historical insights.